Hello everyone. In this introduction to Unity video, we are going to explore the general Unity layout. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really, really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So when you start a brand new Unity project, you don't know what Unity does, you're new to it, you're confused. Well, this little video is meant to help you out on what all of these windows do. We're going to start over here with the hierarchy. Now the hierarchy is a way of storing any game object in a text format. So for example, we have a main camera and directional light by default. So we can select each of those and you should notice over here in the scene view that we do indeed see the different objects being selected. So no matter whatever the object is here in this scene view, it will appear here in the hierarchy as a way of selecting. And we can also see multiple different things that we'll move on to in just a moment. So what is this scene view exactly? This scene view right here is a way for you to build visually your game. So any models you bring in, any textures you want to apply to various objects, you would do it all in this scene view. And you can see here, I'm just moving my mouse around using different buttons to pan around. Um, so the right click, you can kind of look around. Holding the mouse wheel, you can pan around. And the left mouse button will select various things. Now, obviously, we don't specifically have an object to select right now, but here's a little trick. If we double click on things in the hierarchy, we can indeed zoom in to that object. And then when we've got it in view, we can select with the left mouse button. Easy. The next window along is the game view. What is this game view? The game view is a way of playing what you've created in this scene view. So if you've created a very small prototype of a game, you would just press play. It would render everything and switch you instantly to the game view and you'd be able to play whatever you have created from your scene view. So in its simplest terms, that's how you can play test your game. Over here, we have the inspector panel. What is the inspector panel? This is a way of storing information on each and every game object in your game. So everything in the hierarchy will have at least the transform component. It will have various different components depending on what the object is. For example, if we had a cube in here, that would have a mesh renderer and it would also have a collider on it as a component. And we can change all these various components doing multiple different things depending on what that object actually is. For example, if we were to select our camera, we can see that this has a camera component because it is a camera. And this has a light component because it is a light. The light component wouldn't need to have a camera component simply because there is no purpose for that to occur. So although every component can be added to every object, it may not necessarily serve a proper function. So you basically can use the inspector panel to add various different components and modify your uh, objects and models and everything in any way you see fit. Down here, we have the project window. The project window is where you would store all of your assets, things like textures, materials, models, scripts, audio, all of that will be stored down here, hopefully in some fairly neat folders. And you can see, I already have a couple of assets in here from previous videos, but this is where they would all be stored nice and easy. Next, we have this console. The console is a way of tracking, for example, if you have any errors in your script. So you've created a script, it's not working. Here, you will see an error telling you where that error is in the script and what script it's in. So it gives you an indication of what you probably need to do to fix that script. Now, there are many other windows that you can use inside Unity. And one of the ways you can add various windows is going to any current window, clicking the three little dots, going down to add tab and you can add any different selection. So we could, for example, add the animation and we've added that animation tab right there. Now that's all good and well, but what if we don't like how this looks right now? Well, the great thing is we can actually detach these tabs and place them where we want. So let's say we want the game out of here. We can hold our left mouse button down over the game tab and drag it out and place it here. So now we can see simultaneously our scene view 
and our game view. But let's say we don't want that. Let's say we want to have our game view its own object. We could just drag it out and let go. And now it's its own window. You can do whatever you want with it. And obviously these can go absolutely anywhere. If you want the game view over here, next to the inspector panel, you absolutely can. It's entirely up to you how you want your layout to be. Most of the time, I do find that having it in the default layout, which is this right now, I found that to be the most helpful, especially for beginners. The reason I keep it like this is because my channel is aimed towards people who are new to Unity, and seeing this familiarity of how the Unity layout is instantly makes them feel comfortable going forward with their work. But once you get to a point where you're happy with what you see, it's probably worth refining how your layout looks a little bit. And there's different ways you can do that. You can go to layouts and you can change the layout here. You can even save a current layout that you've created and load it up later. So I think the main thing with the Unity layout is to get comfortable with it. If you are comfortable working in the default view, much like I am, but I do like to work with different views as well, depending on what kind of project I'm working with. For example, uh, if I am working on a portrait mode mobile game, I like to have the scene view over here, full screen all the way down. Same with the game view and have the hierarchy over here. But again, that's just me. So it's all about finding what you feel comfortable working with when it comes to the layout. If you want to know any more guys, let me know in the comments. If you've got any cool tips and tricks about how to do any more of this, let me know as well. Hopefully I will see you around in another video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.